I can see the appeal of Tekken, but it was never high up on my list because I grew up with Street Fighter. I think one thing that Tekken really solves well is the target combo system. Uh, they're not called target combos, but basically what it Round what happens one. in Tekken is if you mash buttons in Tekken, you will always get a cool combo to appear. How did he hit me? What? Oh, I thought I had him there. My bad. Got him. What? I can't believe he did that. He did a crouching medium can he immediately cancel without having to confirm? Final round. I got it this time around. Can't you use medium tats there? Um, I can even use a jump in there, but why do that if I can throw another fireball? <laughs> Fight! <laughs> okay. This honorable jump by Jimmy at the start of the round. round two. He fucked it up. I fucked it up this time. Oh, damn. Hadouken! 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 Hadou
ISDD. Oh, let's pl let's play as annoying as possible, okay? Fight. Odin, good to see you. First time watching in a while. Well, I hope you will enjoy this one. You can have free V Trigger. Free V Trigger is really not that big of a deal. And if he's taking those risks, that's fine. See that? Because it's gonna lead to. Oh, what the? Oh, okay, no, that's a disaster. I, I just can't believe I got that. <laughs> Final round. Fight. Purposely whipping that to, to bait out a parry? Really? Oh, I missed that DP. That's gonna cost me everything. Yeah. Well, that was unfortunate. Yeah. Fight. really interesting I, I so far I could not get a single late latex from him finally Fight. 
It's in phenomenal how he's not covering that anymore. <clears throat> the ice is really, really interesting. Final round. Fight. Pyrokinesis. Cryokinesis. Pyrokinesis. Hadouken. I see all. point when it comes to that i just don't get it it's crazy how uh how many reads in a row he's getting <clears throat> see that like he went for another crazy read at the end instead of trying to get like in some some kind of like consistent way of winning he was like i'm just gonna go for this tackle and if i happen if i if i do anything like, like this is crazy this read is crazy round one fight <laughs> Oh, no Perry. <laughs> Can somebody explain to me the logic for this? Ah, I wasn't close enough, my bad. What do you mean by good neutral? That's a joke, right? The comment about the good neutral is a joke. It has to be a joke. Oh wow! Like he just kills himself. I was not paying attention to uh, the you right uh, EX gauge. I was not covering this specifically because I thought he didn't have EX bar. 
So that was really on me. I should have lost this one. <laughs> Still got me. Wow, that pressure. He neutral jumped. Why would you neutral jump there? There had to be an accident. There's no fucking way he wanted to neutral jump there. There's no way he wanted to bait that. I don't believe that for a second. <laughs> big brain moment, yeah. I mean, if it was um, on purpose, then I agree. That was a big brain moment. This is ganz normal, was du da, was du da schreibst bei Daigo ja auch so. Hat also in erster Linie auch gar nichts mit damit zu tun, ähm, welchen Status äh, ein Spieler hat zum Beispiel. Players are generally uh, like if you if you um, have this
Capcom failed to get women to play Street Fighter. That is true, but I don't think that's a, a. I don't actually think that's a problem. Street Fighter, for one reason or another, is uh, inherently more interesting for men. Like why exactly? Like this is something up for debate. But there's no doubt across all of esports, competitive play is very male dominant. Um, and uh, that has nothing to do with the designs of the game because this is true across all of esports. And uh, if you're telling me, oh, it's just a coincidence, no, it's not a coincidence. For some reason, competitive games that are marketed like as competitive games for competitive players are less likely to spark interest in women. That's just the reality. And why exactly that is, I think at that point it becomes... I, I do agree, by the way, like, the take. Like, I've, I've talked with um, women in the FTC about this topic. Um, and uh, Nerkomina, for example, what she has to say I think is really interesting and reasonable as well. Um, because the, the scene is so dominant when it comes to, like, it's one-sided for, for like, there's, there are almost uh, exclusively men, right? This leads to issues, and I agree with that. Um, and I definitely agree with that. Uh, there are unique problems that women have because of that. What I disagree with is the idea that... Wow, what was that? What I disagree... How, how was he invincible the entire way through? What I disagree is that there's something that needs to be changed um, just because of uh, the, 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 the unequal split. I actually disagree with that. Because it basically just means that, okay, you can't have a product that is particularly interesting for men. It's, it's assuming that there is an issue inherently because of that. And I don't think you can make a fair argument about that. Because then you, you have to go further than that. You have to go, oh, we have games that are really interesting for women. So we need to change them as well. Is that the case? Because concessions have to be made. You have to... All of a sudden, we have to have a conversation about, okay, like, why are women interested in specific games? And why are men interested in other games? Um, the question becomes very relevant. Especially if you're trying to argue that there's a problem that you need to solve. Yeah, yeah, like, it's definitely true. I definitely agree with the statement that McAlevely said. Uh, the, because we have, uh, we don't have a lot of women in the FTC, it makes it even less likely for women to join. There's this, there's side effect, uh, that you have all of a sudden. Um, and that is definitely real. I definitely believe that. Um, Round one. but it's very nuanced. Fight. Like, you can't just say, okay, because there are so... There, there are not enough women in the FGC. We kind of have to force the games to be in a different way so that they're automatically more interesting for women. Um, I don't even know how to do that. Like, what would you change about them to make them more interesting? Remove something that is appealing for men to make it more interesting for women? Is that really a solution? I'm really... I'm, I'm not sure how to handle that, like, how to handle that discussion. By the way, that's a... Um, that's a, that's a smurf. 
No, it's actually the opposite. Four dancing lights, it's the opposite. Girls get uh, way too much recognition, which actually creates a problem. Let's talk about that. It's an interesting effect. Can someone have too much recognition? I I'll tell you how in a second. Women are. We'll talk about that in a second, as I said. Let me just win here because I really don't want to lose points to a Smurf. Perfect KO. 